Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I'm happy to review and bum 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 this new Joy Toy World War II German soldier set. Uh, World War II Mountain Division and some German we 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 Wehrmacht. I think it's Wehrmacht. So excuse me for butchering the German here. Um, I'm going to review this one now, and then after I will probably be reviewing the other German set they released. Um, Packaging is nice. I do like this sort of plastic packaging. That's not really environmentally friendly. The big window is great. The figures look great looking in there. The details look great. Um, got sort of the German cross on the back. You can see some of the weapons from the back and from the front. This looks fantastic. Let's open this up and have a look. Very easy to open. Let me see. Like this. Easy to slide out. Box is preserved. Nothing else in the box. And then everything is inside. So you look at the back, we see some spare hands and joints and different hats. We see the machine guns, like a rifle, sniper rifle, and the big machine gun. What's that? Looks like a mortar, maybe. Let's have a look inside. And there is some paper. Oh, it's a bit of a unbalance in the old weight there. Some paperwork here. What does the paperwork say? Anything? Stay away from fire precautions. Do not play with violence. The leg armor can be removed from the knee joint. The joints need to be inserted and pulled after being heated by a blower. Accessories such as accidentally drop when playing can be attached with 502 glue. It is more convenient to wear and take off the accessories after heating. Joy Toy, if you want me to do your proofreading for your English, I'm happy to do that because I'm a qualified English teacher and I'm here in China, in Beijing as well. Uh, um, can be assembled, the component parts can be blah, 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 blah. just general information about the toy and a rather cool picture of the squad. So then we have the weapons and accessories. So we have this with nice, flexible, and also like a painted buckle. Uh, sort of sniper rifle or rifle, no drilled barrel, unfortunately. Joy toy drilled the barrels, and I'd be really happy, but still very nice. We have three of these uh, machine guns with no drilled barrel again, and they do look really cool. And there is, let me have a look, and the material is quite soft rubber on the strap. We have the heavy machine gun here, which one holds, and we have some different caps, some spare hands, and some other spare joints, and we have here which one goes in that way, or that way, which way around does it make a difference? Aha. You can turn the little handle, bop, and it goes down. We have here their mortar. Which I'm done with a break. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Okay, the mortar is pretty cool. Uh, just a single color with black speckled weathering. But it is effective, the guns look nice too. Okay, let's have a look at these little accessories and we'll have a look at the figures after. Accessories and spare parts. So we have. We have, what are these ones? I believe that is for the machine gun, maybe? Nope. So we have a stand here for something, not sure what. We have three of those. Though with these three machine guns, it makes me think, but I don't think it's for those. We have one, two, three mortar shells. Which don't get stuck. 
which is good. They are two spare right hands and two spare left hands. Oh my goodness, did I get that right? Let's have a look. Yeah, two spare right and two spare left. I have a left fist, a right semi-open, a right fist, and the left more to, more like a gun hand. We have the cap for the commander. And we have two other caps with a little German eagle on. And we have two stick grenades. And we have uh, one, two, three spare joints as well. Uh, four spare joints as well. I'm not sure what these ones are for at the moment. Let's have a look. They don't go on the gun that I can see here. Uh, see, I said machine gun because of three of them, but I can't see them being on a machine gun. I can't see how they go. Oh, sorry, they do go on a machine gun. They go on the back here. That's it. Okay. So it's a stock for the machine gun. Can put on or take off. And all the World War II films I saw as a kid, I don't remember the stock. Do I remember the stock being on it? Uh, occasionally, I guess. Looks a bit strange because it doesn't come out the back. And it's, um, oh, that's also interesting too. That it's wavy, so it curves back into the armpit. That's very, very nice feature, Joy Toy. Very, very well thought out. Okay, so let's put these safely to one side. I'll keep the guns nearby. Let's look at our troops. So, cool. Ooh, you get higher for that, I'm telling you. Let's get out uh, all, the, all the troops and have a look at them. Uh, I can see that at least, there's at least three head sculpts. The commander, there's the normal trooper and one trooper with his mouth open. But the other troopers need to check whether they're the same or different on the... So let's look at the uh, open mouth guy first. Very nice. Hat will be able to come off. Though he does have a chin strap, which I don't want to get caught. There we go. Helmet is quite soft and rubbery, which is nice. Um, eyes a bit close together. I don't like the eyes. It's almost too cartoony, but it's got a bit of atmosphere and it's a great expression. It's actually a pretty nice head. I'd be tempted to repaint the eyes though on that. Uh, next one. So he's different color hair, different head sculpt. Looks a bit angry in his face as well. A bit difficult to see on camera. Next one. Different again on the head sculpt and different color hair again. So we've got good variety here, which is great. And then the last one, it's got gold hair. How did that happen? Right, my last one literally does have gold hair. And it is a different face sculpt. That hair is gold. Look at the shine. That hair is gold. It's not blonde. That is gold hair. Um, and a quite an angry face sculpt again. Must, uh, must be gold finger. Gold finger. Da, 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 da. And then the sort of commander with his short back and size, little... Scarring on his face looks angry again. Okay, let's look at the sculpt on the uh, clothes. Look good, the accessories look good, but a lot of the things are glued on around the waist. It appears uh, there is a knife which I can see comes out already because I can see the metal. Ugh. Okay, I think he has a knife, he has a knife, he has a knife, he has a knife. All the troops have a knife. Commander has a sidearm and holster. I look at the moment. They have their canteens, their bedroll stuff. It's a nice looking sculpt. The helmets feel a bit ill fitting, you know, it's like it's, it's loose to the side and whatnot. But you just have to put them on properly and pose them properly, and they'll fit better. Now, somewhere here, I've no idea where. So I, re I tried to look for a minute ago, and I just looked for all these boxes. I couldn't find them. Um, in fact, I have an idea where they are. I have some higher, higher brand German soldiers that are quite old. Uh, I don't know how many. Is ten years old, maybe, 
or, or maybe eight years old. In fact, I've got an idea. I'm going to look for those now quickly and come back. So if I can find them, I can do a comparison. So for you, it'll be instantaneous, but for me, I'll be back in a couple of moments. I looked. I couldn't find them. They, they were not where I thought they were. I've got so many toys here. It's like hard to find things. Okay, so the higher German soldiers, I'll stick in the... Uh, Suggest the videos for you guys to check out. They're pretty good in their age, but there's sort of gaps in the joints and whatnot. Okay, so the sculpting is really nice and easy. Just want to, before I look at the articulation, we just check out the uh, commander. Let me show his face again. Um, side arm. It's a tuck in. Sort of clip on the uh, on the holster. Oh, that is. And his gun. Very nice looking gun. Bit simple, but it does look good. Uh, let's see how he he holds his gun first. In his left hand, not particularly well because it was not really made for it. It's at an angle. Let's look at his right hand. Now that is a gun hand with a proper trigger finger, so I'm thinking that he'll even get the uh, finger, yeah, inside the uh, trigger guard. Very, very nice. Holds that really well. Okay, so let's look at articulation. I'll look at the commander separately to the figures because they should be the same. Uh, so head, so left and the right, it's a down and an up and a side to side. So it's a double barbell ball joint in the head. Shoulders aren't going to be great, I can tell already, because of his uh, the insignias there. His, uh, I can't think what they're called now, the parts in his shoulders. But he does get to about 180. Bicep bend, I guess, is going to be good. He gets over 90 both sides, which is good enough. The wrists are different to previous... Um, once before they used to have this on the right and this on the left. If I show the spare hand here, that looks like, not I'm telling you wrong, maybe they have gone the same way, it just looks a bit different. The way they've made it is different. So he has, yeah, gun wrist articulation on his right and he has the in out on his left. Okay. He has waist turn, that's hidden behind the belt, very clever, and crunch, there's no lower waist. Legs will struggle going out because of his uh, jacket, but he still does pretty good considering. Forward is not great because of the sculpt again. Backwards, the jacket gets in the way, but that's okay. Uh, double knee joint, look at that, really, really, really tight. There is a thigh twist, uh, you can twist the forearm where the joint goes in and the foot there's no turn we have a five twist tippy toe is amazing you know that's the german national ballet there or the nazi national ballet um michael jackson flexation is almost non-existent and there is very small side to side um a tick legend could be better but to be honest it's a small price to pay for this, the look and feel of this figure. He looks really, really nice. Uh, the paint apps are great. Um, there's, there is some minor weathering, which you could do more on. Very minor weathering, but it does look really, really, really good. Great job. I say I'm impressed with this. Let me just push this gun back in. And the hard part, I think, is going to get that little clip in. Is that in? Well, that is really hard to get because this little rubber tab has to go through and I'm going to need pliers or tweezers or something to really get that in tightly. But that will do for now. So let me just stand him up. And he stands up pretty well outside of the box. I'll put him here for you. Let's look at our soldier. So I use the open mouth soldier with his kit on. Um, so left, right, down, up, side to side, the same. Shoulders should be I'd imagine better than the commander because the jacket is different. And let me see, am I right or am I wrong? So, uh, yeah, better, but not by much. 
Bicep bend is much better on the left and a little bit better on the right. Same wrist articulation. Oh no, this guy is a this guy is both hands like this, doesn't have the the gun articulation on his wrist there. Same trunk and waist or not. Here feels like he's got two lots of articulation. One and Okay, let me have a look at this guy again, because he's got two lots of articulation in his waist. Okay, so see, sorry. So they got trunk and they got waist on both both of them. Uh, so he gets his forwards backwards, side to side. He can turn and can turn from lower down. Legs again won't go far due to the uh, sculpting. Same with the forwards and backwards, but still is okay. Um, kneecaps, again tight, but then he's sort of accessories get in the way here. Thigh twist again, and the same it looks like on the ankles. And no real flexation forwards. Good enough articulation, very, very, very nice. I, I'm loving the look of these so much. Now let's see how they can hold their guns. So, if I make this guy a... Well, he's going to be right-handed anyway, but let's do him holding this gun. And can he get to the magazine with his other hand? I think he probably can. Ooh, that's going to be a bit of a, bit of a stretch to get there. Oh, so close yet so far. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yeah, just about, can you just about do that? Pretty cool. So they hold those guns okay. Let me try with the stock. I'm... Now, one thing I like about acid rainbow figures is their arms, 99.9%, their stock is short enough so they can hold it in a holding gun properly. Let's see if it works with this joy toy figure. Let's have a look. So, right hand again. The stock might be too long. That is my initial feeling. Can he get that stock into his shoulder? Okay, so, so far the stock does go to his shoulder, but he can't get the other hand to hold it. And that's what it's looking like. I'll try it again. Yeah, so when I, put, when I put, the, put a gun across, it slips out of his hand. The stock sort of forces it out. So they can have the stock, but I'm not, in my two tries, I managed to get him to hold, this, hold it with the stock in his shoulder and the other hand on the gun as well. Let's try it another time very, very quickly. I think the stock is that sort of brittle plastic where you don't really want to be forcing anything. Ugh. Nah, not really. He's holding it with two hands, but, but, but the Left hand is already on the trigger, should be the right hand holding the trigger. Okay, so for him, if I take the stock out, he should do it as well. And he does have a gun, gun articulation on his right hand. How interesting, and then it all come that way. Let me see if he can do this. This is really going to be quite tight to get there. Fortunately, the fingers aren't overly stiff, so there is some give. I 
but that just popped out of his hand then as well. Okay, that will work. Is a bit straighter. Okay, two more guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one just sling the gun over his shoulder. See how this works out here. Is the other way around so he can still use it when he's over his shoulder. Clever move. Yeah, I would prefer the sling for the gun to be slightly longer, I think. It can go over there, but it's not the, for me, it's not the best going over the shoulder and head. But maybe some of the other guys will have more time to play, or if I have more time to go play, you'll disagree with me, and I'll disagree with myself. Okay, let's put him on the end here. And then that leaves us with two more guns. We have the rifle, which is nice and straight. And we have this machine gun here as well. Uh, let's see how he holds the rifle. This would be far more difficult to hold for the figures, I think. And bear in mind, I'm only trying this quickly, so I'm going to bore you guys to tears of me trying to make this work. Ugh. That's going to be really hard for him to get to his hand to the uh, trigger on that right hand. He's sort of missing the trigger, but for a simple pose, it looks pretty cool. Okay, let's try him with the uh, machine gun. It's got a short stock, so this should be quite well easier, I should say. Definitely more so than the uh, other machine as they come with. He holds that okay, not really in his shoulder enough, but it's good enough. A very, very nice set, I have to say. I do like this a lot. And I know that they've, they're working on uh, American troops and probably maybe some Russians, I think, some allied forces. So you can have your uh, got shot by a sniper. You can have you can have your uh, your little army, your little war going on and whatnot very very soon. Uh, one thing I do like about Joy Toy it was a couple of things. Firstly, they release stuff so fast. So there's not a huge wait time, you know. Uh, and for a small company, that is really good. And sec secondly, is they are constantly improving. Improving in quality, improving in sculpting. Uh, really, really, really quite good. So that is another great thing. Okay, then the mortar here. Uh, did I put on the backwards? Let's have a look. Maybe it's that way. Yeah, and the mortar is atmospheric enough, it does the job, looks good. Awesome set, I like this a lot. Only real thing left to do is have a look at a couple of these uh, caps here, and the stick grenade, and the mortar shell. So, let's get our commander, let's put on his, uh, his underboss hat. Really, really nice fit. Now, if you're looking for a good, good overall German commander, I would select. I would highly recommend in an Indiana Jones Colonel Vogel. I uh, will stick up there somewhere. Is it Colonel Vogel? Uh, great figure. Looks really good. Probably a bit shorter, a bit older, a bit fatter. Limited articulation, but the, the aesthetic is fantastic. 
really good to lead your, your troops. Okay, let's take my golden, and I'm ring really metallic gold hair again, I'll say that again. My golden hair boy, let's try with his sort of mountain hat instead of his helmet, and that looks really good as well. Okay, and the last thing, let's take him again. Let's give him a stick grenade. Which he can hold very well, oops. And then the other hand, let me give him a mortar shell, which again, he holds very well too. Fantastic set, worth getting, I do like this a lot. Great job by Joy Toy, highly, highly recommended. Put these to the side quickly. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I am signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. Check out my other videos. There's over, over 500 of them and soon it'll be uh, 600 plus. And I'll be back soon with more videos for you. Bye-bye.